Hello, uh, my name is Jim Selmans, and this is the third of the video screencast updates about the Fact Miners and Soft Talk Apple Project's effort to develop a magazine ground truth storage format uh, metadata uh, standard for uh, support of e research and machine learning at the Internet Archive. Um, in the first couple of updates, um, I provided information and, and demo, short demo, of the uh, print page to leaf ferret, the, um, where we uh, developed a mapping between the print page numbers and the leaf IDs at um, the images, uh, file names at the Internet Archive. Uh, th that activity was in support of uh, a project that we documented in two submissions to the uh, Daytech uh, 2017 conference, which will be held this June in, in Germany. The first um, is about our effort to develop the Fact Miners Ground Truth Storage uh, format and our interest in developing a Ground Truth edition of the 48 issues of Soft Talk magazine, which was a, a very um, important publication at the dawn of the microcomputer and digital age. Um, and uh, and we uh, described how that multi-level uh, metadata ground truth storage format um, would look and uh, started developing um, data sets for the table of contents, advertiser index, uh, masthead, and so on. But as we tried to um, put those things to use, um, we hit a brick wall, um, and that was the breakdown of the the foundational nature between um, print page numbers and the uh, leaf IDs of um, the images of those pages. You can't very easily go to a specific page in a publication if you don't uh, know that, that important mapping. So as we work to develop the magazine Ground Truth struck, uh, storage format, um, we hit the wall on print page to leaf number. That's what our second uh, paper is about, um, the effort to um, understand and develop that, um, that mapping and a tool to support that mapping. What, um, what, I, what I would like to show you today is the progress that we've made um, by uh, once we had the print page uh, to leaf map, um, what we could do um, to start on uh, uh, leashing the uh, information that's available in the, uh, the data sets that we developed in terms of, of table of contents and uh, ads and whatnot. So quickly, what we did um, after we uh, developed the uh, the uh, print page to leaf mapping, we extended the uh, uh, publication uh, metadata file to incorporate um, uh, not only our reference models, which are the CIDOC CRM, the conceptual reference model for museums uh, for cultural heritage, but FRBROO, the Fed, um, the, this is a, a um, bibliographic reference uh, standard based off of uh, CRM, and PRESSOO, which is an industry, an IFLA industry standard for serial publications. So we're building our ground truth storage uh, uh, format off of these industry standards. Um, we also are referencing Primus page ground truth storage format for the ground truth storage information on specific pages within the magazine. And then Fact Miners Magazine uh, format um, takes care of the publication level uh, metadata that we, we gather. So in the and and what the the essential nature of the magazine ground truth storage format is an integrated content depiction and document structure model. So if we were to look at and we're going to focus um, uh, quickly here on the um, 
issuing rules which are presso o um, descriptions of the ideas behind a serial publication. Oh, it's going to be a monthly, it's going to be titled this, um, and it'll have articles about this, that, and the other thing. We're using a much finer grained notion of issuing rules to be able to build pattern languages about document structures and, and content depictions uh, within the magazine. And in our case, we're going to drill down. We've got issuing rules. Um, some of those will relate to the advertising model. The advertising model in a commercial magazine relates uh, the size of the ad, the shape, um, the number of colors, um, and whether there's bleed. Those are the things that, that determine um, the size, price, shape, and, and all of an ad. That's in our issuing rules. What do we do with that information in terms of data sets is um, we, we have two pieces here. The ad index is, uh, th this is the one that we couldn't do anything with until we had the print page to leave map. And that's because the ad listing is a bunch of self-referential information in a magazine that says these companies um, have ads and these issues on these pages. So we have 7,157 uh, sightings of ads to look at in uh, Soft Talk magazine. The problem was we didn't know um, how to uh, reference those specific pages until we had the page to leaf map. Once we had that now, that means that we can develop a new data set, which would be the specification for each ad, and that's what you'll see as we take a look at the, the page ferret. What we'll be doing is ground truth, uh, discovery and validation of the size, shape, number of colors, and what um, uh, what companies ad advertised and what they advertised. So the, um, the, the document structure at, um, part of this uh, Ferret's activity is related to the advertising index and the um, the ad uh, data set in terms of the structure of the magazine. What we know from from looking at what an entry in that um, data set is is that um, on the content depiction side, we're starting to develop um, a notion of who the actors are, um, and actors in this case would be people and organizations, um, we're going to have products. Um, roles are the things that um, the actors uh, do to relate uh, to each other and, and to products and all. So at the moment, we've identified advertisers, authors, um, and magazine staff. We haven't gotten too far into that. Um, but the important thing is, is that um, we've identified that We've got organizations, and through the ad index, as we curated the ad index, we ended up with 907 uh, organizations, which um, each share the, the feature of being uh, an advertiser. So they have the role of advertiser and, um, and will be um, uh, discovering the products that um, these ads are about um, as uh, we do the ground truth storage validation um, on the advertiser index. So the, um, that's the, the, this collection publication XML file then is the, the storage um, location for the models and the data sets that describe um, the magazine, um, in this case, Soft Talks magazine. And what that allows us to do is, um, is to focus on the ads and let's start the, the ferret up. This is the ad ferret. We're, we, we have 900 and some advertisers. So um, to get things going, we go out and we grab a group of 10 um, advertisers and uh, and again we're reading out of the publication XML file um, we're looking at the ad index we're looking at the um, uh, the 
actors who are organizations with the role of um, advertiser, and we're um, looking at the um, page to leaf map so that when we go look for these ads, we're going to find them um, where we expect them to be. So um, if we take a, a look at a typical advertiser like 3M, um, 3M um, you know, ran a few ads and they ran them repeatedly um, during their time as an advertiser. Um, we also, um, let's get to, uh, and down here in the lower uh, left corner, you can see that when we when we switch and, and take 10 more advertisers, we're, we're again at X uh, per, uh, and um, going out and, and pulling all those ads down. So we've got um, uh, an ability then um, to walk through individual ads um, in a fairly um, um, efficient manner. It's all being cached. And uh, let me see if any of these guys, yeah. Oh, they, they have ran their ads on the bestseller um, list. But um, basically the ferret now is, um, and this is milestone one, the fact that we're able to um, uh, get out and uh, read the publication XML file, um, find all the ads that um, relate to any specific, their, uh, their images are still coming in. Um, they have a tremendous number of ads and um, and and this uh, ad ferret now um, we can literally um, conveniently go through and and look at all of the ads over time uh, through uh, soft talk that were placed by Adventure International. So what's next? Um, well, obviously, um, you know we're we're going to be um, bringing the the uh, ground truth storage uh, workflow uh, uh, to bear on uh, on the ferret by you know making the widgets on the left uh, side here work and um, and the way it'll work is let me bring up this um, this next batch of advertisers it's going to be fairly um, simple um, you'll uh, the user will click the upper left corner of where the ad is on the page, and that location will give us uh, a first indication of the potential size of the ad. And um, based on that click, we'll um, enable and disable size and shape locations um, to be able to make it more efficient so that um, when you curate an ad, it'll be click, uh, space bar, space bar, tab, space bar, uh, and so on. Um, and and then um, if uh, if we have a a, a new product um, that uh, um, hasn't been cited for this advertiser, um, we'll we'll put in new products um, and and start to build up the uh, data set for products that are in uh, the magazine and uh, through this uh, curation process, um, you'll see that we're not only uh, validating the ads, but um, curating an initial uh, citing of all the products that are uh, included in those ads. So um, this is the, the next big leap of, you know, why did we need that print page to leaf uh, map? We needed it so that we could do uh, the exciting work that uh, is uh, on display here. We can look at the at literally 7,157 ads that appeared in Soft Talk and look at them um, in the context of of uh, of the the, uh, the position, the the issues, uh, you know, all, you know, basic without the distraction of having to go chase things down and say, I wonder what the ads look like. Um, this is uh, this is the next step in building uh, that uh, detailed ground truth storage edition of Soft Talk Magazine in support of, 
uh, e-research and machine learning at the Internet Archive. So uh, look forward to the next update. We'll, um, we'll give you a quick look at how we bring um, the process to life to do the um, actual individual um, ad uh, validation. So uh, we've made great progress. We've, we're uh, excited about the prospects of, of uh, being able to work with folks at the Internet Archive and, and keeping our fingers crossed that, that our papers get into Daytech uh, 2017. So thanks for your interest. Uh, always uh, a pleasure to show you the real results of the work that uh, Timlin and I are doing uh, in support of uh, the preservation of Soft Talk magazine.